Now that you know what to expect from an eSchool course, let's look at the traits of a successful online learner. First, since this course is online, it makes sense that a successful learner needs some basic technology and computer skills. You must have access to a computer with a processor sufficient to run the necessary browsers and tools, access to a working internet connection, an active, functioning email account, and accessories to create audio and or video files. You should be able to navigate websites, open, close, and save files on the computer's hard drive and Google Drive, and save files in various formats, including PDF. When encountering a digital problem or being asked to produce a digital product, successful online students possess some digital grit. That means sticking with it until the problem is solved. You should review the orientation and help material. Spend time navigating through the course to become familiar with how it works. Be comfortable trying new tools to create a product. Ask for help after exhausting your resources. What if I don't know how to find my course materials online? Review the orientation and help material. If you can't find the answer, contact your teacher. What if I can't access my course or my login isn't working? What should I do? Contact the eSchool help desk or call the eSchool office. Don't wait to ask for help. Do I need to know how to make a video before signing up for an eSchool course? Nope, that's not a prerequisite. But if you're asked to submit a video as a project, you need to be willing to learn a new tool in order to complete the assignment. You can learn more about eSchool technical requirements on our website. Now let's talk about learner traits. Successful online learners show up for class just like they would for a face-to-face -face class. They understand that eSchool courses have the same state standards as face-to-face -face classes and that they will be expected to demonstrate their learning in a variety of ways. You should be a critical thinker who logs into your course prepared to interact thoughtfully with the content determines the best strategy to retain information you may need to recall, reads and follows directions for assignments and how to submit them to the teacher, identifies the best way to perform the task assigned. You should be diligent, showing care and attention to detail with all assignments and communications. You should be an independent, goal-oriented learner. You can set your own learning goals and develop a plan to meet them, including working around school schedules, work schedules, and extracurricular activities. You understand that responses from teachers and peers will not be immediate. Teachers are probably busy teaching a face-to-face -face class during the day. And you are comfortable reading the text and interacting with other course content on your own. Will my eSchool course be easier than a face-to-face -face course? Not necessarily. eSchool courses must meet the same standards as face-to-face -face courses. While the path to learning may be different, the outcomes are the same. Can I pick and choose which lessons to complete? No, you need to complete all the lessons. Think of the online lessons as lectures in a face-to-face -face class. If you don't pay attention and participate in class, you won't do well. You may even need to pay extra attention to lessons in an online class since your teacher won't be waking you up if you doze off. Hey, wake up! Do I need to be a strong reader to take an eSchool course? You need to be a proficient reader who is willing to interact with text. Much of the information in your course will be delivered through words. You need to read and maybe reread. You need to be prepared to take some notes over pertinent information so that you are prepared for assessments. You know, just like a face-to-face -face class. Finally, let's talk about study habits. To be a successful online learner, you should know how to manage your time. Be a self-starter who logs into the course without being told and hold yourself accountable for following your course plan. Keep yourself motivated by keeping the goal, a class credit, in mind, tracking your progress, and focusing on the positive aspects of online learning. Show self-discipline by making time in your life to work on your eSchool course, working consistently throughout the course, don't take long breaks from it, and meeting your self-set deadlines so you're finished within 18 weeks. Be willing to self-advocate. In other words, speak up for yourself by communicating with your teacher when you need help with an assignment or learning task, and communicating with the help desk when you need technical assistance. Can I work at my own pace in an eSchool course? Yes and no. You'll have a lot of control over when and where you work, 
but you have a maximum of 18 weeks to finish your course. That's why it's so important to work on your course regularly. Since it's online, there isn't a difference between classwork and homework. It's all just work. You'll plan out your semester in advance so you'll know all your due dates before you begin working. So let's say I'm ready to take my final exam. I email my teacher, wait an hour, and I still haven't gotten the exam password. What should I do? Be patient. Remember that responses from your teacher will not be immediate. You need to allow 24 hours for a response. This is part of managing your time effectively. Do I need to work on my course on the weekends? I need some time to chillax. Maybe. You set your schedule based on your school schedule, work schedule, extracurricular activities, and chillax time. Working consistently to complete your course is the easiest way to complete it. If you fall behind, you may need to work on the weekend to catch up. So, Emily, you've learned what an e-school course is, and you've learned what makes online learners successful. It's time to decide. Is e-school right for you? Move on to part three to take a quiz that will help you figure it out.